we call this place a sort of a secret gem. We are actually one of the 10 best and most renowned public gardens in the United States. Bloedel Reserved opened to the public in the late 80s. It was a private residence, a private estate, and the Prentice and Virginia Bloedel lived here with their children for 30 years. He hired different landscape architects and landscape designers to help him, and uh, his wife sculpt this land, which is 140 acres of native forest here on Bainbridge Island, into a curated series of gardens that flow through the property. The residence was built in the early 1930s. It's a French colonial design. Currently, the downstairs of the residence is open to the public. When you visit the reserve, you'll experience an incredible layering of native forests and cultivated gardens. The beauty of that is you're able to more deeply understand the Pacific Northwest and its plantings, as well as see some extremely exotic species. The moss garden is one of very few completely devoted to the species of mosses. And so our moss garden was cultivated from scratch out of the native forest by planting thousands of Irish moss plugs. We have hundreds of other species of moss there and we carefully weed and cultivate that area to remove any other types of plantings that might interfere with the moss. So you're left with this very, almost a Jurassic quality of, of passing through very aged aged woods and moss-covered stones and logs. It's a very peaceful area. The Japanese garden is modeled after a traditional Japanese strolling garden. There's a pond, there's a sand and stone garden, and the structure there, which we call the Japanese guest house, was originally the Bloedel's guest house for their friends when they came to visit. And the sand and stone garden was originally a swimming pool. The reflection pool is probably the most formal of our gardens here at the reserve. It was designed to feel like you're in a room. So it's a long rectangular space that's surrounded by a very formal U hedge. And then the pool itself reflects the sky. Visitors are completely awed by Bloedel Reserve. Something happens between the time where they arrive, uh, pass through all these beautiful landscapes, it's a rarity to have this amount of land, 140 acres, reserved and set aside for anybody to come visit.